And in sports, some stakeholders in the sports industry are calling for more private sector investment in sports in Bayelsa State. This, they say, is to help cushion the effect of youth restiveness. It will also consolidate the successes recorded by the state government in its drive to revamp the sector. Our correspondent, Jesse Ese, has more. 2021 was a fulfilling year for indigenous football teams in the state, with Baesa United and Baesa Queens winning the ITO Cup for both male and female categories. But there is rising concern to encourage more youth to venture into sports. Hence, a call has been made to individuals and corporate organizations to support the government by investing in sports. They acquire a lot of boarding talents in these states. And we need to develop some mini stadia because there are not enough pitches for players to, to, to really test their skills. ITU, for example, praise in Bahas about their impact is not much. Nationally, they are now sponsoring the ITU Cup. That's a, a good one. But the state itself, where they are operating, we haven't gotten much from them. So I will appeal that uh, they come in and they assist government in sponsoring most of these uh, sporting activities. And in particular, in the area of building facilities. We need a lot of sport, sporting facilities. We cannot continue relying on some CCSI stadium alone. The few multinational companies we have should uh, step in to support the state government so that uh, we will continue to maintain that status in sports that uh, we have already achieved. So I would want to solicit for their support. Every other bank and other private individuals to see how they can encourage sports investors. The state government is said to have invested massively in the sports sector and young persons have been called upon to avail themselves. Don't forget His Excellency went to Greece. He's also partnered with international other countries, governments of other countries. And then of course, he has also partnered with a lot of uh, 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 foreign firms and even uh, 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 firms in this country in the area of sport development. Who is the record? of being the only governor in this country uh, whose teams have won ITO Cup, what we usually call the FA Cup. Bahasa United and Bahasa Queens, on the same date, same venue, these two teams lifted the trophies. Uh, it's because of you know, the large motivation the players are having under his uh, supervision. The youths uh, uh, should also advise themselves, see, look back and see uh, where they are and where they ought to be, and then they uh, encourage themselves, and that is when government can step in. So whatever little government uh, adds will, be, will increase in their value uh, to, towards their success in life. About 2.2 billion naira was proposed for the Bayelsa State Ministry of Youth and Sports Development in the 2022 budget, and there are high expectations for indigenous teams to beat their previous records. Jesse AC for Plus TV Africa. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.